I don't know how this works. I've never been in. You just move with the control. It moves in your look direction. You can move in the direction you're looking, or you can turn. So what's the purpose of this little spinny ball here? Yeah, let's talk about that. Well, first, let's do the intro. Okay. Welcome to Virtual Eric and Tony. I'm Eric. I'm Tony. And then also sometimes Charles. Also me. <laughs> welcome, welcome to our world. Move. That's his signature finishing move. He calls it the. Oh, that was different. <laughs> okay. So, what spinning. is the purpose of this shape? This is an icosahedron, right? Yes, this is a mm -hmm. spinning uh, isodecahedron. Oh, isodecahedron. Not as cool, I think. Uh, not, as co not as cool as a dodecahedron. Well, I mean, we could change it. <laughs> I just I just thought the uh, the floor was looking a little plain here. I don't, I wanted to have some uh, something moving. We got rid of all of our spinning boxes, so I thought we'd upgrade to a higher polygon count. Okay. <laughs> cool. Just keep adding poly after poly on this thing. Yeah, That's you can see a little uh, little shadow below. I'm liking the shadow. It's a, it's a little pixelated. It's kind it's of pretty. fun that way. There's a light straight up ahead, but you can't see it because it's invisible. Oh right! Nice. So when you look straight up, you, your glasses are a little brighter. Definitely. Interesting. It doesn't cast a shadow on you. It's not like the real world. <laughs> so since the last time we were here, a lot of other stuff has been added too. We have uh, sky. We have mountains. We have a floor. We have mouths. I like the mouths personally. Yeah, I, they really. <laughs> you see I think who's that, talking. It's a nice definitely. touch. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. I think it's this video. It's going to be way easier to keep track of what's going on. Oh, your mouth's not moving for yeah, me. Yeah, your now. mouth. Your mouth's actually not moving right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. You can just make the video of us. It's just a race condition. All right, that's that's okay. We <laughs> we have lots of bugs. <laughs> a couple of bugs. We fixed a few. That was nice. Well, you you fixed a few. That was good. Oh, Tony fixed one that was affecting the latest version of Chromium. What exactly did they change that broke it? The bounds for the eyes. Uh, previously was either not there or a fully populated array, and now it's a uh, it can be there, but it could be an empty array, so there's no actual bounds. So I had um, to add in a default condition. Uh, cool. That makes sense. And that's Sweet. just the, the rectangle that defines the viewport yeah, your left for each eye. And your right eye. So where right. your left eye starts and ends, and your right eye starts and ends. Right. Yeah, that makes sense. Because it was entering VR, it just wasn't displaying. Yeah, you were just seeing a, uh, a zero by zero swath. Of the canvas, yeah, it's so, definitely coming along. So yeah, we got hand. Now we can see each other's hands. Let me grab your hands. Uh, it gets confusing. <laughs> they all can't really the tell same. which are your hands. <laughs> you might try to reach out and grab your controller, and it's not there because someone else's is there. <laughs> yeah, like we should uh, do colored controls. That would cool. be cool. That's yeah. one thing to do. That's you easy. Drop this. Drop the PNG texture and just give it a color. Make them shiny. And we still have the monitor over here, but we're not using the camera angle today. Oh, that's today. new. That's new. Oh, that wasn't there before. We haven't okay. talked about that before. That's yeah, also let's talk new. about it. That's cool. Yeah. Like so there's an invisible camera right about here. Uh, yeah, keep going through. Uh, 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 yeah, now you're uh, inside. Uh, uh. <laughs> so there's a, a virtual camera in the world that is recording us and then... Its image is being added to this big box on all sides. So I see Charles from this side. That's pretty dope. So, hey. and we actually made a, uh, a URL path that will take you to the camera's view in case you just want to spy on whoever is in the room. And now you plan on extending that soon, right? So kind of basing the room idea off of these paths? Yeah, sort of. Like having different rooms that you can get to physically, like through a portal or a door or something. But then also you can get back to them using URLs. That way you can have bookmarks for different rooms that you might be in. And you can share that URL if you want somebody meet to meet you there, let's say. Except for the secret rooms. That's right. There will also be potentially secret rooms. <laughs> what goes on in the secret rooms? That's the secret. <laughs> yeah. Cool. We also have a, uh, a floor actually at y equals zero. Yeah. Mm. So that's so, uh, 
as long as you don't use the controls to float yourself, if you just jump into a room scale VR experience, the floor will match your actual floor. But right now, there's no physics that keeps you on the floor. No, gravity's coming soon. I do feel like you know a basic shader on the floor would be nice. Well, that's why we have shadows. We got a little texture. It is a, it's a little too gray. It is a libertian <laughs> uh, object. It's just that the light is evenly uh, applied because it's straight overhead right now. We added mm. an extra light briefly to where the camera was in order to brighten up its view, mm. but then we had a big performance problem for some reason. Mm, I see. Yeah, shaders might be difficult on mobile or something like that. Yeah, and if you ever make the frame rate drop below, say, 70, it it's real bad. It's unusable. Mm. On the computer, we're getting pretty uh, consistent 90 frames per second with the headsets. Yeah, yeah. So that's the that appears to be the request animation frame uh, frequency for the Vive. Yeah, it's looking pretty nice. Yeah, and then we have some uh, terrain here. Using yeah, let's. Some... Oh yeah. Let's go. Uh, let's go visit the mountains. Let's go over here. Hmm. All right. Don't get lost, Charles. That's good. I'm fine. <laughs> I like the I like the feeling of flying. Mm -hmm. <laughs> As if we're like a pack of seagulls. It'd be cool if we, after we add a flock some of seagulls. <laughs> we're like a herd of uh, a gaggle of ducks of stampeding seagulls. <laughs> All right. Whoa, this goes pretty far, huh? Yeah, yeah. this is only the first uh, the first mountain. I like it. So yeah, can uh, we can see the little uh, floor box that we had over there that we were standing on? Hmm. And nice. then. We have this uh, terrain generated with some simplex noise. All the tops are white, and then uh, it kind of gets more bright green as you go down. Yeah, I'm digging yeah. it. Looks nice. So that you makes could sense. Potentially generate, you know, as much terrain as you wanted. What are you? What are you saying? You're you're quiet, Eric. Oh, sorry. Am I real quiet? Yeah. I think we're all real quiet, actually. I can hear Charles very loudly. Oh, really? Yeah. Maybe it's just me. I don't know. Yeah, Tony, you sound. Uh, quiet and Eric, you sound quiet, and your mouths are not moving. Really? But the quiet might be the res an effect of. Yeah, that's weird. Or might be the cause of the mouth not moving. Mm -hmm. Maybe, maybe the origin's not updating. We had some issues early on about the uh, audio always coming from the uh, the origin over there. Oh, let's, let's test the theory then. Let's go to the farther out mountain. Your guys' the positional audio is working perfectly for me. Hmm. Hmm. Well, Eric, well, Charles is working great for me. Yeah. Here, let's go, let's go follow me real quick. Just just hold that thought. Maybe that maybe down. if you opened your mouth when you talked. <laughs> blah blah blah. I do that all the time. Hmm. It's fun. If you move your if you move your neck around, you can uh Yeah, Eric fly seems even a, further away now. You can fly in a spiral. <laughs> Woo <Ooh, laughs> you're gonna hurt your neck. <laughs> I have no neck hit. in VR. <laughs> all right. Uh so now okay, it's quiet for both of you for me. So, so like, have a completely different experience. let's come back to the center and see if it gets louder again. Yeah, you're definitely getting louder right now. Uh, that's really weird. Yeah, yeah. Another bug. Yeah. Okay. It's just, just Eric's computer. <laughs> well, we, we get lots of bugs. <laughs> a couple of bugs. You gotta swat them. <laughs> you should add bees. <laughs> Why should I add bees? That's like, like one of the main benefits of VR is there are no bees. <laughs> It'd be a fun game. The, I was reading an interesting article that says that VR is being used for conquering fears. So it's like fear of it. VR. Fear of VR, fear of bees. Not necessarily fear of bees. That's my new idea that I think is going to be a hit. But... <laughs> I think the fear of bees is already a thing, Charles. <laughs> Well, you can conquer it with VR because you could simulate these experiences without actually being exposed to the bee. And similarly, there were stories of a woman who was deathly afraid of spiders and they put her in a VR environment with spiders mm -hmm. and she was able to slowly overcome her arachnophobia. So you're saying, Tony, that you might do just one eye in the desktop display while you're in VR? Uh, yeah, we could render out because there's not necessarily a reason to render stereoscopic to the screen. Uh, It'd be nice if it was just a setting, like you could have a couple of options. Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. That'd be cool. Which comes back to the problem of having to choose things. Yeah. Choosing things in VR means you have to have some kind of menu system. And I was working on that a bit. So in Firefox, it's actually fairly easy to take some web content and then stick it onto a texture and then put it into VR. That worked good. Uh, didn't work in Chrome at all, but there is also an API for capturing a whole tab in Chrome. So I got to figure out some solution between those two things that works so that you could have like a menu that's an actual HTML menu, and then you can still see it while you're in VR and interact with it. And if well, we could you, do that, that would be really awesome. Well, you also mentioned uh, wanting to possibly check out uh, React VR. Mm-hmm. We, we could have React one. VR, though, is around, I think, creating objects in VR, not around web content. Not, not web content, but it has built-in text and features for selecting things that might be helpful. We could, we could have you, one, if you one room to. in React VR if, you, just, if sure. you wanted to try that out. That's absolutely true. You could definitely use React VR, VR in a particular room. Um, and you could make a menu that way, but it wouldn't be the same menu that you saw on the website. I mean, it could. It would just be the, the menu would be in the canvas. Right. It'd be interesting to check out. I think that React VR is an interesting concept. It's kind of surprising to hear they're working on it, but I guess it makes sense. Eh, I'm not really into it, but we'll see. I don't, I don't <laughs> think it's fundamentally different from A-Frame as far as I've been able to tell. Yeah. Hmm. It's just more React-y. People just want to keep putting React on everything. But I can understand <laughs> why that would be useful because... Adding and removing things as 3D objects can be somewhat expensive, and using a technology like React could prevent some of that cost. Mm-hmm. Whereas with A-Frame, you might kind of be stuck with things being more static or doing more expensive updates. But I think the, the end goal is essentially the same, is use an HTML-like syntax to create 3D scenes. Right. Yeah. That sounds pretty good. All right. Do you guys have any uh, any other interesting things you heard about from the conference? Uh, they're they're doing their own uh, browser. Oculus is going to have a Carmel as its browser, um, and they definitely talked a bit about jumping from experience to experience on the web while in VR, which I think is great. Um, it'd be great if we can kind of experiment with like what that would feel like if you could actually you know, browse while in VR, not just browsing content, but also browsing through different environments. Mm -hmm. So we could definitely like play with what that might feel like before that browser is released. We could do a dance. You want to do a dance? I mean, I think you do. I feel like I'm in the matrix because I can go around you and you're perfectly still. (laughs) <laughs> I got like bullet time going on here. Eric, Eric is Tony moving bullet to you or, time, you or no? Bullet time. Yeah, everything's working fine for me. Woo. Uh, you could, you could well, see I guess bolt- you're recording the outro then. You can't, for- you can't force bump, me to dance. Bump, 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 bump. Yeah. <laughs>